Hi, I'm Tracy from Constantine Quilts. Um, I've been long arming now for 19 years and had uh, a number of long arm quilting machines, different brands and different sizes. Uh, actually started machine quilting 27 years ago on my domestic Bernina machine. And today I'm just going to have a quick talk to you about one of the the, the, the biggest issues that um, quilters do have, and that is with tension, thread tension on their machines. Um, so many times we have issues with the top thread throwing, showing through to the bottom, creating loops, or you see the bobbin thread coming up to the top, or great big birds' nests, and sometimes we just don't know how to deal with that, and it gets very frustrating. The main thing to remember is what is the last thing that you did before everything went bad? That is the biggest and first question you need to ask. If you've finished a quilt and it's been quilting beautifully and now you have started the next quilt and all of a sudden the tension is all over the place, then ask yourself what else did you do besides change the quilt sandwich? Maybe it was a different type of fabric. Maybe it is a different type of batting that you are using. Did you change your needle? Um, and have you changed your thread brand or thread weight in either the top or the bottom? Um, all these things you need to ask yourself and then we, you go through the process of elimination on what it might have been that you have changed since it was quilting beautifully to now when it is not. The easiest thing to check, of course, is your thread pass. Make sure that you have threaded your thread correctly and that the top thread is fully seated in your tension discs. Um, often we just tie the new thread on and we pull it through and we don't check um, closely on that thread path in case it's wrapped itself around a thread guide inadvertently or it is not seated correctly in those tension dis discs. Make sure that the thread guide that sits above the cone of thread on the back of your machine is centered over that cone of thread. So just take a good visual look at the thread path first of all. If you've changed your needle since the last time um, it was working correctly, make sure that you've put the correct needle in, that it is facing the correct way, and that is usually with the scarf towards the rear or to the throat of your machine and um, then and the thread is coming down the front of the needle where there's a groove and guided into the eye of your needle. Make sure it's not rubbing up against any of the thread guides and it's in every thread guide that it needs to be. Um, the needle itself, make sure it's all the way up um, before it's firmly tightened. Um, so yeah, check that one as well. If it's your bobbin thread, then simply you, usually I just pull it out and you start again and put it. Okay, this is your bobbin case. I prefer to use a bobbin case with a pigtail guide. Um, I find that when it is threaded, the thread doesn't flick around, it just pulls straight up through the throat plate um, and that keeps your tension nice and, and uh, even. When you first put your bobbin into your bobbin case and you make sure you put it underneath your spring, I do put it through the pigtail, but you just make sure that your bobbin is turning clockwise. That's the correct way to put your bobbin in. Okay, when I have other issues and I'm not sure whether that spring inside is or if it's all worn out, then I do like to make my bobbin case last just a wee bit longer and I remove the spring from inside totally and I will use a bobbin genie and this happens to be made for the M size larger bobbin cases and just sit that in there instead and then 
simply insert the bobbin, put it under your spring and in the pigtail, making sure that it's still turning clockwise. And that will actually do the same job or a similar job to the backlash spring in the bobbin case and stop your bobbin from spinning when you are stopping to your stitching on your machine. So that's one way, that, and the, the cheap thing to try first is to try the bobbin washers to see if that improves your tension. Place your bobbin case on the palm of your hand and hold on to the thread. And as you are pulling it, it should go onto the side, but as the thread is pulling out, but it is not lifting off the palm of my hand. And that's about the correct tension. Another tool, which I use all the time now, is the tower tension bobbin the tower bobbin tension gauge this wonderful tool is is exceptionally well made and you need to get by purchase the size to suit your bobbin case in this case it is a um, m size bobbin the larger one and the way that you actually use this is you insert your bobbin case fully loaded the same way as, uh, as it would be when you're putting it into your quilting machine and you're inserting it into the tower gauge and you're clicking it in so that it is mimicking what it would do when you're putting it into your long arm machine. Then you will get your thread and you will put it around the top wheel around the next one the other way and through that guide and you will gently pull to see where the needle goes now I like to have mine around 2 220 and this is um, Wonderfill's Invisifil 100 weight thread so that's what I tend to keep it on so it's nice and steady and you can simply use the cutter there to, to cut your thread. If you need to loosen or tighten, then you simply just get a screwdriver and place it in here and you can loosen or tighten your tension. And then simply test again until you're happy with it no matter what type of bobbin thread that you have on your bobbin you will like to, you will aim to get it at a similar number that suits your machine now there is no magic number this is what i like in my machine what you need to do is once you have um, really nice tension on your quilt sandwich take out your bobbin case fully loaded pop it into the tower gauge and see what that number is and that will be the number that you like to use on your machine to achieve a lovely balanced tension. These are available currently at constantinequilts.com for both L size and M size bobbins.